but he, he said, um, are you able to pray on the plane? And she said, yes. And then um, he said, can I ask you a question? And, she, she, and, and uh, she said, yes. And he said, how do you feel about serving wine on the plane? <laughs> she said, it's really hard. <laughs> but I always use my left hand. And... Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan channel saya Muslim Reaction Alhamdulillah sebelumnya saya ucapkan buat sahabatku muslim semua Yang masih setia mendukung channel ini Saya doakan sahabatku muslim semua Sehat selalu punya rezeki dan juga dipermudahkan dalam segala urusan Amin amin ya robbal alamin Nah sahabatku muslim semua Kali ini saya akan menampilkan sebuah video Yaitu ini ada sebuah cerita dari seorang mu'alaf yaitu Syekh Hamza Yusuf jadi beliau ini adalah seorang mu'alaf ya jadi beliau ini menceritakan ketika beliau ini berada di sebuah pesawat jadi beliau ini melihat sendiri ada seorang wanita muslim yang harus menyuguhkan minuman beralkohol kepada penumpangnya ya padahal kan pramugari ini adalah seorang muslim Nah, di sini Mu'alaf ini menceritakan kejadian itu dan sepertinya sedih uh, dan kayak mau menangis ya rasanya. Nah, jadi Syekh Hamza Yusuf ini adalah seorang Mu'alaf ya. Dan beliau sekarang ini sudah menjadi ulama besar di Amerika Serikat. Nah, jadi beliau ini sedih ketika menceritakan ada sebuah kisah ketika dia ini melihat langsung bagaimana seorang wanita muslim, seorang pramugari harus menyuguhkan sebuah minuman beralkohol kepada penumpangnya ya padahal kan pramugari ini adalah seorang wanita yang beragama Islam tapi dia terpaksa karena mungkin itu adalah suatu pekerjaan ya jadi menjadi seorang muslim itu tidaklah mudah nah lalu bagaimana kisah selengkapnya berikut videonya Assalamualaikum probably not a very sophisticated question it's uh, more of a practical real question um, I'm I've been uh, just listening trying to take everything in that you've been saying but at the same time as somebody who is very active and has been very active in both Ireland and here um, at grassroots level working with um, women's group Muslim women's groups and non-muslim and the youth um, my own experience, if, if that's anything to go by, of activism has uh, left me quite soured and uh, disappointed actually. And, and um, how do you reconcile the, I suppose that's the question, how do you rec reconcile the prophetic injunction to plant saplings in the middle of the hour um, with the reality that actually for a lot of Muslims it's very hard the, the reality of raising children here is yeah. very hard. You know, some people can tell us, go back to your own countries. Well, I, you know, I don't belong anywhere, or I belong as much here as I belong anywhere. And, and I find it hard. I find the engagement genuinely mm -hmm. hard. And I, I think that reflects the reality of quite a lot of people, young mm. and older, trying to raise children, trying to communicate with children, mm. values that everything else around you says. Right. You're an outsider, you know. It's mm. very difficult. Yeah. The the uh, the the Prophet sallallahu alaihi he he said, you know, that Islam began as an alien thing and it will return to being an alien thing. So blessed are the alienated ones. And the world is an alienating place, and and we're all going to be dead in this room uh, within at least you know the maximum a hundred years, and there'll be a whole new group of people debating and discussing. Maybe, maybe not, but you know it is very difficult. And I was on an airplane in in uh, going to Kuwait, and I, and I sat next to. Um, uh, Muhammad Al Awadli, who's a famous TV presenter there, very brilliant Kuwaiti uh, guy, and the the stewardess came and her she had Aisha on her name tag, and and I asked her where she was from. She said Senegal, 
And then Muhammad al Awadi, uh, she didn't have a hijab on, but he, he said, um, Are you able to pray on the plane? And she said, Yes. And then um, he said, Can I ask you a question? And, she, she, and, and uh, she said, Yes. And he said, How do you feel about serving wine on the plane? <laughs> she said, It's really hard. <laughs> but I always use my left hand. And, uh, you know, I was so moved by that, uh, that attempt in such an incredibly difficult circumstance to be as true as she could to what she believed was right, because Muslims do deal with foul things with their left hand, and um, a lot of people struggling out there. So, God bless you.